Apple just asked an awesome coding question. We're given as input a string S and we need to return the number of character changes that we made. So what that means is here, we went from A's to B's, that's one change. This is another one from B's to A's, that's another change. So we would return two. Our string is guaranteed to only have lowercase and uppercase characters. But the catch here is that this example would return exactly the same as the previous because a switch from lowercase B to capital B does not count as a change. We would want to keep track of the last used character and for now we'll initialize that as the first character so that is going to be the string of a now we would loop through the rest of the string and keep asking if our current element is equal to our last used if it is not then our count should go up by one these characters are considered the same so you have to check if the last used lowercase is equal to the current lowercase again this would not trigger a change our final change and our correct answer of two and here is my python code